children, but for just it's like. So it's your genetic material. It can't be rejected. As long as we hook up everything properly, like I mentioned, it's going to survive just like the organ transplant I mentioned previously. Everything after that requires amino suppression. So if someone puts in a device and starts having a reaction, now I get all these patients sent to me, Alex, who have immune problems. Okay. And so what are doctors doing for them? They're getting drugs like prednisone, which is a steroid. They're getting drugs like methotrexate. They're getting Plaquenil. All of these different drugs are just to modulate what? It's what your body's doing in response to having something foreign. It's reacting. So if someone came to me already with gut trouble, Sjogren's syndrome, lupus, uh, history of autoimmune disorders, because autoimmune disorders predated implants. I mean, autoimmune disorders have been around since the late 1800s. First implant was placed in 1962 at Houston by Conan and Giroux. So that these things are not new. Right. 